You too, what's going on? It's Kyle again from ePool Supply. We are back this week with Hayward's Wanda the Whale. This is their above ground suction side pool cleaner. We're gonna do some quick fix videos for you guys and show you guys how to repair all the little bits and pieces inside this cleaner. Stay tuned. Right, guys and we're back so again today we've got some quick fix videos for you guys on Hayward's wand of the whale this is their above ground pool cleaner for today's video I'm actually going to show you guys how to completely remove the a-frame kit off of the bottom of the cleaner to be able to get access to some of the internals on the cleaner so you will need to uh, remove additional parts before this so if you guys want to check out our playlist in the links in the description below that'll show you guys how to actually remove the uh, the cover plate as well as the throw insert into the cleaner you will need to remove those three screws first in order to actually get the full a-frame kit out because two of the screws do actually sink down into the kit itself so you guys want to make sure that you remove all those first but then the next thing that you guys are looking for as you flip it over you're going to be like where are any more screws because aside from those three that you saw right off the bat they're kind of hidden so the next set of screws that you're going to be aiming for is actually located right underneath this front flap the right located by uh, wanda's teeth here in the front is when you guys kind of gently pull this flap back it'll kind of pop into place don't worry you're not going to break it it's meant to do that for the specific reason so as you guys pop it back into place you'll locate two additional screws right here down in the middle we're going to go ahead and remove those and that should allow us to just pull out the entire a-frame kit at this point so bear with me and go ahead and use this again i'm using just a screwdriver this is a brand new unit to remove anything you guys can use a power tool just depends on how old this thing has been uh, sitting in your pool how beat up it is you may need that i just highly suggest that when you guys are resetting anything that you use a hand tool instead of a drill because you don't want to over crank anything and break more plastic and have to do it all over again so these are just two short little self tapper screws that go in there underneath that flap so once you guys have actually removed those, you should be able to just kind of gently grab each side of the wings here and you can actually lift out the entire A-frame kit with your paws as well as this lower housing. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this off to the side here. And then as you guys can tell, this will start to give you some access in here to the turbine. So if you guys are just fighting something clogged in here and you don't actually need to dive deeper into the cleaner, this is gonna be the quick fix for you because it allows you to remove that A-frame kit to get access to the turbine where everything comes into. Um, if it jams up anymore, maybe up into this area, that'll be a different video for you guys. But just in order to remove the A-frame kit and get access in here to the full turbine, that's what I wanted to show you guys how to do. And then obviously when you guys are putting it back together, everything does require to go back a certain way. So when you guys are trying to set it on, if something's not sitting right, it's more than likely because it needs to get turned a different direction. So just wanted to show you guys that. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, especially if you're looking for more videos on Wanda the Whale. We're gonna dive into the A-frame kit as well as further down into the cleaner to show you guys some more repairs. Um, until then, I'm Kyle from Pool Supply, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.